and don't move. Oh, I'm scared already. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I saw something. Be stupid, Emma. There's nothing. I swear it. I felt something. The TV. Look at the TV. Wait, can you hear that? Oh, shit, man. What the hell was that? They're waiting. This is gonna take long. We're not gonna wait all day, are we? <sighs> Freezing. What's happening? Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that, that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. Sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important, to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong, just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection. Uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her, my mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut, a slut and a witch. We should like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> The darkness. Bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me One out. The first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out. Please. Did someone say cake? Please, what? I want to get out. Please, I want to get out. I'm begging. Yeah, let's get this please party started. Let me out. <laughs> Get me out of here, please. Well 
done. Very funny, Stephen. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. Maybe it was Jody. She's probably mad at us. Don't be ridiculous. No one can move stuff like that. There's gotta be some other explanation. Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Hey, don't leave me alone. Oh, 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 wait for me. The door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Just tell me. There's no reason to panic. Your fault we're in trouble, so cut it out! He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of you from now on. He's waiting for you. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan, Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Pretty boring books. To be honest, I haven't read them all. How about you? You like to read?
like it? You can have it if you want. You can sit down if you like. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? And if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Tell him to do something. Tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Adam what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. 